FrugalSim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is a fairly short video following on my series that I'm calling Tutorial Tools. Today we're looking at how to record your mouse in Shadowplay or GeForce Experience. As some of you know, I switched a few years ago to using GeForce Experience Shadowplay to record all my videos. The reason being was well, actually two reasons. First of all, I like hardware based recording solutions. I don't like uh, Fraps anymore or OBS because they're not really hardware based. They, they kind of get in the way a little bit. I know that OBS does use the NVIDIA drivers and you can offload some of the processing that way, but I prefer the stuff that's built into the graphics card. So if you have a fairly recent uh, GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, I'm running a 2080 Ti, then it has video recording built in. That's reason number one. The second reason is, as you can clearly see, I've started recording in ultra wide format. The reason for that is I find it's a much more immersive experience for me simming. And I'm not that keen actually on switching down to a much lower resolution, a much more constrained resolution, just to make um, my videos fit in that traditional 16, nine ratio. I prefer to have a good time while I'm playing or flying and happen to be recording at the same time. So those are the two reasons I use GeForce Experience. Now you may have noticed in recent videos, I actually called it out in a couple of videos, I don't think you can see my mouse. The reason is there's actually an issue with GeForce Experience and Shadowplay dating all the way back to 2017. In 2017, Nvidia were getting feedback that users wanted to hide the mouse. And so recent changes to drivers and such have been that the mouse is by default hidden in your GeForce Experience Shadowplay recordings. You can re-enable mouse recording very, very easily. That's something I desperately like and need is that when I'm recording a tutorial for you guys, I like to be able to wave the mouse around like this and point at something and say, if you look up here or if you look here or if you click on this, it's a very useful aid in recording those tutorial videos. Anyway, I found this page, which is linked in the show notes below, and it has two reg edit files. Now, Windows, uh, uses something called the Windows Registry, which stores key information that programs can refer to as to how they should operate. And you can use register files or reg edit files to basically change what's in the registry. You can do it yourself. There's a tool you can run incidentally called reg edit, which is a registry editor. And it shows you a lot of very obscure convoluted stuff that you probably won't understand. Um, I certainly don't understand it all where you can set values and change values. But anyway, NVIDIA in 2017 provided two registry files. One, disables capturing of the mouse with shadow play. The other one enables capturing of the mouse with shadow play. So if you're using a fairly recent driver and finding that your mouse is not being captured and it's a royal pain in the butt, all you need to do is go to this webpage, right click that shadow play cursor capture enable.reg and save it. Now I've already saved it onto my desktop here. It's this file here. And if I double click it, it will say, are you sure you want to run this? Yes. And then it will pop up this little dialogue here that says, Adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of this information, do not add it to a registry. Well, I downloaded this from NVIDIA's customer help site. I'm quite happy with using this. So yes, it says the keys and values are now in your registry. Click on OK. And now the all important reboot. When you reboot, as you can clearly see here and in the video I'm going to drop in right now in DCS, I'm now able to capture my mouse again. So if there are those of you out there also struggling with not having your mouse captured in your videos, very useful for pointing to things to viewers on your YouTube videos, this is how you re-enable mouse capture. If you wanna turn it off, simply download the other file and run that instead and reboot. You always have to reboot and then Shadowplay and GeForce Experience will stop recording your mouse if that's what you want. Hope this was useful. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon.